Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to remove bloatware or debloat your phone. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. So as you might be aware, most of the phones such as Xiaomi, Poco, Redmi, Realme, Oppo or even Pixels have a few apps that come pre-installed on your phone and you cannot remove these apps from your phone. For instance, in case of Pixel, you have the YouTube Music app, the Files Manager app and all such app. Likewise, in case of Xiaomi as well, there are quite a lot of apps. Same goes for the OnePlus and the Redmi's and the Realme's of the world. So in all these phones, there are quite a lot of apps. In my case, for instance, I have the YouTube Music app on my Pixel phone, which I cannot remove from my phone. Instead of YouTube Music, I usually play using the Spotify. So I don't want the YouTube Music app, but I cannot remove the app from my phone. Likewise, I also don't use the Google TV app, but once again, I cannot remove this app from my phone. Same goes for the files app. Instead of the files app, the default files app does not have quite a lot of features. So I use the solid file manager app. But once again, you cannot remove the files app from your phone. So all these apps are pre-installed on your phone and you could only disable them. You cannot remove them from your phone. However, there exists a nifty workaround using which you could easily uninstall and remove all these plotware apps from your phone thanks to the ADB commands. And in this video, I'll show you how to do just that. So let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to get hold of Android SDK platform tools. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done the extraction in C drive. And these are the files for platform tools. Once you've done the extraction, your next course of action is to enable USB debugging on your phone. This is required for ADB commands. So go to the settings menu on your phone. From settings menu, go to about phone and tap on build number seven times, you will get a prompt that you are now a developer. So go back, go to system and you should now see developer option. Go there and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. You will then get a prompt on your phone. Tap on OK and you might get an RC key prompt as well. In that case, tap on allow and with this debugging is now enabled. So let's verify the same. For that, go to the platform folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tools. Now type in ADB devices and hit enter and make sure that you're getting a serial ID. If you're not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out these USB tweaks and make sure that you're getting an ID. Once you're getting this ID, let's now move ahead. And now you will have to get hold of the app package name. This is the app package name for those app which you want to remove from your phone. The easiest way of getting this job done is right from the phone itself. For instance, if you long press on the app and go to the app info page, then scroll to the bottom and you will get the app package name, which in this case is com.android.chrome. You may then copy this as well if you want from here. Apart from that, however, I have seen this that on some phones such as Xiaomi, this option is not there. Whereas on Pixels and OnePlus, it's there, but it's not there on, on all the phones. So if this option is not there on your phone, then you may take one more route and that involves taking the help of Play Store. So just a minute, let me open Play Store. Let's open the Play Store. Let me show you. So for instance, I want to remove the app name. Let's remove the files app from our phone. So you will have to first search for the files app. So it's the files by Google app. Let's open it and go to the URL section of this app. And you will have to copy everything after the ID equals to. So in this case, this is the app package name for the app, which you want to re remove. Simply copy everything after the ID equals to sign. So let's copy it in notepad as well. Let me take some other app. For example, this is the action books app. So this will be the app package name for this app. So make sure to copy this app package name. Apart from that, you may also get hold of app package name using some ADB commands as well. For instance, if you use this command PM list packages, then it will list out all the apps which are installed on your phone. So let me show you that as well. Let me open the CMD window. And so before that, you will have to open the ADB shell command as well. So type in ADB shell and hit enter and make sure that your phone code name is being shown here and a dollar sign should also be shown here. If that's well and good, now type in PM list packages and hit enter and it will list out all the apps which are installed on your phone. However, it might be a little bit tough to get hold of the app name 
from the app package name. In some cases, you could easily get hold of the app name. For instance, this is the feedback app which is installed on my phone, so I could easily get hold of this from here. But that might not be the case for all the other apps. For instance, I might not know what is this app. So it could prove to be quite a complicated process. So apart from that, you may also use one more command. The next command will only list out all the system apps. So it is PM list packages and the dash s parameter. So if you use this command, it will give out all the system apps. As you could see, these are only the system apps. You may further sort this list and use the command of PM list packages Google to get hold of all the Google apps installed on your phone. So let me show you that as well. You may also replace, as you could see, this is the all the apps from Google which are installed on our phone. Do know that by Google, Google by this app, with it's not only the third party Google apps, but also the system OS apps are also there in case of Google apps. So you will have to keep the font in mind. Likewise, you may also replace Google with Samsung and you will get all the Samsung app. Replace it with Xiaomi and you will get all the Xiaomi apps and so on. So you could take any of these approaches to get hold of the app package name. The easiest of the lot is using the Play Store URL or you may also use your phone and then get hold of the app package name. But then you will have to transfer the app package name onto your PC. So once you have copied the app package name from here, simply do a transfer onto your PC or you could simply use the Play Store and co copy the app package name from here. So once you have got the app package name, let's now move ahead with the next step and now we will have to enable ADB shell, which we have done already. So now there are two approaches. You could either disable the bloatware apps on your phone or simply remove it from your phone. So as of now, let me first show you how to disable the app. In case of disabling, you could simply long press the app from your phone and go to app info and tap on disable. But if that disable option is not there on your phone, then you may also get this job done using the ADB command. So if you use this command, it will disable the app from your phone. So just replace the package name with the app package name. Let me show you. So this is the command syntax and the package name in our case is this one. So again, I'm repeating if your phone has the option, you may simply disable the app from here itself. But if it's not there, then you could use the ADB command. And this is the files app. Let me show you as you could see, this is the files app. It will now be disabled on our phone. So replace the package name with the app package name. And now copy this entire command and paste it in the CMD window. And let me show you now if I paste this command here and hit enter, it will disable the files app. As you can see, it's now gone and we have got the status as well. The new state of this app is disabled user. So it has been disabled. And if at any point in time you want to re enable the app, then simply use this command and the app will be re enabled. So this is the command. Let me show you. And this is the command again. Replace the package name with the app package name, which in our case is this. So paste the package name here and keep a tab on my phone. The app will be once again shown here in the app drawer. So let's copy this command and paste it in the CMD window and hit enter. And the file app should now reappear. As you can see, we have got back the file app on our phone. It was earlier disabled and the new state is now enabled. So with this, we have enabled the file app. So let's now move ahead with the next step. And now I'll show you how to uninstall the bloatware app from your phone, but keep the data. After that, I'll show you how to uninstall the bloatware and remove the data as well. So first off, let's show you how to uninstall bloatware, but have its data on your phone. So for the sake of reference, let's try out a, some other app this time around. So let's use the YouTube music app. So its app package name is com at Google Android apps YouTube music, or let's copy it from the Play Store itself. So search for YouTube music and open that app. And this is the app package name in our case. Let me copy it. So we are done with this. And this is the app package name. And first of all, I'll show you how to uninstall the plotware, but keep its data on your phone. So if you want to reinstall the app, then the app will start from that position only. It will not start from scratch. So let me show you how this could be done. For that, you will have to use this command this is the command syntax and once again, replace the package name with the app package name, which in our case is this one. So copy this command and paste it here. And now keep a tab on my phone as well. This app will now be removed from your phone. So let me copy this command and paste it here. And the YouTube music app will now be gone from my phone. So tap 
enter and as you could see we have got the success message and the app has now been gone from my phone now the app that i will still be there on my phone and if i want to re enable the app then i will get back that app data anyways moving on let me now show you how to uninstall the bloatware and remove the data as well in that case let's opt for some other app so this time around let's take the google tv app for instance and this is the app package name let me search for the google tv app and then in this case i'll show you how to uninstall the bloatware app and also remove its data so this is the app package name let me copy it as well and now this is the command which will uninstall the bloatware and remove the data as well so let me paste this command and this is the syntax so let's replace the package name with the app package name so keep a tab on this app it will now be gone from my phone google tv so let me copy this command here and paste it in the cmd window and hit enter and the app has now been removed from my phone for good likewise the data has also been gone so apart from that if you want to reinstall the removed bloatware apps you may also do that as well for both the apps if you have re removed the data and if you have not removed the data in both these cases you may bring back the app but if you have kept the, the app data then the app will start from that left point only but if you have removed the data then the app will start from scratch so i have re removed two apps as of now the first is the youtube music app in which i have saved the data and the next one is the google tv app in which i have removed the data as well so let's now bring back both these apps and this is the syntax just a minute this is the syntax of to bring back the removed app so first off let me bring back the youtube music app this is the app package name of the youtube music app so let's paste it here and keep a tab on my cm on my app drawer the app should now appear so let's now paste this command in the cmd window and hit enter and the app should now re reappear and with this we have got the youtube music app and the data will also be saved on this app it because we have not removed the data next up let's bring back the google tv app as well so this is the app package name of google tv in this case we have re removed the app data of google tv so the app will start from scratch and as you could see over here the app should now appear as soon as i paste the command here so let's do that and the google tv app we have got that as well onto our phone so guys apart from that i have also made a list of apps all android device bloatware list this is for the samsung phones you may simply copy paste the command if you want but please go through them once the k parameter stands for to save the data if you don't want to save the data then simply remove the dash k from here but in this case i have given out k because it will save the data and if you want to re-enable the bloatware then you will easily get back all the data then this is for the zomi phones you may these are the app packages name and these are some of the apps which i will advise you to test before removing apart from that i have also given the app package name and as well as the app name next to that app package name so that you may able to easily get hold of the app name as well as you could see from here these are the apps name corresponding to the app package name and this is for the huawei honor phones then you have some for the motorola phones as well the motorola apps facebook apps and google apps and in bracket are their names as well then this is for the realme phones all the commands as well as the apps then realme app packages name this is the app app name and i have also listed out the reason why it's not required on your phone and why you could remove them apart from that this is all for the realme apps then this is some again some additional realme apps list then these are the apps which are there across all the android phone for instance this is the google apps which you could find across all the android phones this is the amazon bloatware apps this is the microsoft bloatware facebook bloatware you must simply copy paste this command in the cmd window and get this job done then this this is are some of the hit app apps which you can find in the color os and realme ui then the real some qualcomm pre installed apps are also there and guys these were all the commands that you could use you may either get the job done manually as i have shown you in this video or apart from that you may take the help of these adb commands and you don't have to use adb shell after every keyword just open the shell environment once in the beginning and after that all the commands should start with pm uninstall so guys on that note i round up this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching